What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and I decided to scrap the level guide in favor of a noobs guide to Black Desert on PS4. So I'm going to be going through upgrades you should make all the way up until I hit 56 on this character. And I think we should have some good fun with this. Um, it's going to be roughly every other day to a daily video. I haven't quite decided. Uh, it's going to be a little bit faster paced than my other series. Uh, on my ranger siri where we're going through and we're doing every boss and stuff like that and i'm showing it in this there will be a lot of fast forwarded sections at 400 times speed and stuff like that or even at faster speeds and so it may be an every other day type thing there will be more editing involved in here and stuff like that but i'll be going through all the pertinent details that you'll need to know when you begin the game and go all the way through it um today this video is coming out after the siri video but normally it will come out earlier in the day before the siri video uh going on in the future there will not be another one of these tomorrow the Archer video I need to upload for Xbox will go up tomorrow. So the next one of these, you know for sure, will be coming out on Thursday. So let's hop into this. Um, need to create a character. So I thought about, we're down the three classes that I can play. Warrior, Berserker, and Wizard. Those are the only three the options that I have. I played Berserker and wasn't a huge fan. So we're going to go ahead, since Witch and Wizard are relatively the same. They're not the same, but they're close. We're going to go ahead and play Warrior for the very first time for the Noob's Guide. It's kind of the, kind of not middle of the road character, but it's kind of the middle of the road character, basic knight character. And so we are going to go ahead and play as the Warrior. So I'm going to do this real quick. Um, let's see. Let's have some white hair. I can always go back and customize this as a why because once we get all of our rewards and I get all of that different stuff for buying the Ultimate Edition, I should have unlimited cosmetic changes for a bit of time. I also don't exactly care what my male characters look like, so that'll work, and let's get into this. So we're playing a knight, so we're either going to be Geralt or Artorias. My theme is always Witcher, so we're going to try to take Artorias. I know Artorias like spelled this way is obviously going to be taken at this point yeah so we're just going to go ahead and do my little tag thing here and then we'll put artorias afterwards all right spelled it wrong artorias okay so there we go there we'll start should be all good to go if any name is too long really okay well um Guess I'll do it this way. Artori. Actually, you know what? We're going to do it like this. DKS underscore Artorius. I really hope this isn't too long. Artorius. There we go. Okay. Got that, got that name taken, and we should be all good to go. I'm going to be skipping all the dialogue. I'm not reading anything, not doing cutscenes. If you want to see some of that stuff, go to my Ranger playthrough. That'll be more of a uh, story playthrough. This is more of a walkthrough. We don't need all the story elements and all of that different stuff. And so we're just going to get into this and we're going to go and we're going to we're going to progress. So let me cut out the loading screen here and the opening cutscene. So we'll be back in just a second. All right, so we are back. Had a little bit of a technical issue, but you didn't mix much. All I did was talk to all the people here and get this quest taken care of. So all we're going to do now is run through all of the quests. So we're going to grab all the main story and all the optional quests along the way. I have not played the warrior, so I'm actually looking forward to this a little bit. Should be a little bit different than anything I've done. But yeah, we're just going to run through, grab all the main story and all the side quests. I am going to do this at hyper speed. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to edit it to be super fast. You guys can see everything I do. I'll pause it and update you guys on stuff as we get to stuff that I feel like is pertinent for your, for your basic knowledge, I guess, along the way. But at the beginning here, there's not a whole lot uh, other than just rush the main story. 
Uh, you don't have to rush it. Obviously, take your time if you want the story and all of that different stuff. But if you're trying to get to level 56 as fast as possible, obviously, you can go ahead and just rush it like I am doing. But uh, for the sake of the video, I'm going to start the speed up uh, here. And I will see you guys back in a little bit. Um, I'll probably just throw some music on. Um, I'll try to put a little bit of different timestamps. It'll be just kind of scanned through and we'll be at the next slot in just a second but uh, i'll try to timestamp stuff a little bit for you guys and um i'll timestamp the major stuff there will just be pauses between now and high Del quarry um with me popping in just to say to accept this quest and accept that quest but yeah i'll catch you guys in just a moment Okay, here are the first optional quests that you can accept and take. These two soldiers have a study on Imps 1 and a study on Imps 2. Both easily completable. Um, I already have one of them complete just based on killing. You'll have to kill some Imps and gain some knowledge. For this one, all you have to do is kill these amulets here and these defense towers here. You need to kill two defense towers and three amulets. Uh, fairly easy to get done and definitely worth the uh, experience, or not the, ex well, you do get experience for killing them, but the rewards that you get from for time invested, I mean, the rewards aren't the greatest, but obviously you're not investing a whole lot of time. Uh, I'm going to run back here and, or I'm going to run over here and turn these quests in. Uh, I'll go ahead and talk a little bit here. So, with all the side quests, it's kind of like I view them as time invested uh, based on reward for time invested. Later in the game, it's pretty much any reward is worth it for the side quest if it's experience. Uh, so we'll go over that in a later video. But for the start here, uh, a lot of the stuff is just simply based on time spent for reward because the experience is not necessarily humongous it's not the most important thing and so let me do the imp subjugation which is this tent right here turn this quest in and you can see there is study of imps one and two you're going to complete those for a little bit of extra experience and you're also going to grab a seasoned veteran uh, so i'm going to go ahead and speed up the gameplay again here and i'll see you guys in a moment with the next optional quest that i suggest taking Next side quest, so I, uh, mistakes were made, but you can accept this quest from this guy here. He'll give you the view, vi 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 village by a beautiful coast, as well as beasts at the crops. 
So you'll need three weasel tails and three fox claws. You can see that I already picked up the weasel tails and the fox claws. You can also talk to this guy here um, and grab these if you want. I don't usually grab this. You need half-eaten bread pieces and bite-sized fruit pieces. You get those from killing these weasels and the foxes. They're a little bit harder to grab, but... Uh, it's not terrible to pick it up. The foxes are definitely the hardest things to find in this area, but we're able to find them fairly easily. We need three bite-sized fruit pieces, so let's try to grab these real quick, and uh, you need those from the foxes. It's worth grabbing it from him. The bite-sized uh, fruit pieces are a little harder to find than I would like. Uh, might get lucky here, might not. Yeah, so you killed two foxes. No bite-sized fruit pieces. That's the one little issue I have with that quest is now you have, you're have you kind of hemmed into finding enough foxes to get this completed. Which I don't love because the drop rate on the bite-sized fruit pieces is not great. And I missed out on that fox. So now I have to wait for a respawn of foxes. I'm just pretty much looking at my radar... Uh, running around in circles here looking for a yellow blip to show up uh, And this is why I would always suggest grabbing the one from the one guy the guy that gives you the main story quest I would always recommend grabbing um, His quest because it gives you some significant rewards Hopefully we get it here and we did okay, so let's go ahead and turn these quests in and I'll show you what we get uh, not bad. Uh, a lot of the stuff at the beginning of the game here is all about seeing what money you can get. And uh, he gives you a gold bar worth 100k, so he's definitely worth doing. But this guy also gives you one. He's also going to give you a combat scroll and five potions. So not terrible. 100 grand it goes a long way in the beginning of the game, and I will show you why. I'm actually not going to cut it here. We're just going to go ahead and continue. So now... You can go ahead and do big and small disturbances. You should have learned enough about the Imp Cave uh, to have that completed. If you want, you can go back to Tiny Nose and complete that quest. Uh, let's see. It's going to give you... It's going to give you another quest. It's a quest chain, so it's going to give you another quest. Uh, if you want to do that, go ahead. I rarely do it, but I thought I would mention it here while we're running. So if you come down here, you're going to talk to this lady who... I don't quite know why she's in here. She pretty much is just like the gatekeeper for uh, Velia. She tells you pretty much to head to Velia and talk to Alustin. So we're going to go talk to Alustin, and then there's a couple of quests here that uh, you will want to grab. And so let's get to Alustin. We'll skip the cutscene, and we'll go over all the quests you want to grab. So go ahead and complete the quest to Alustin, and then you're going to want to grab all of these so you could have waited to get the weasels till you got here but while you're right there you might as well do it if you learned about crone castle already you'll be able to complete that right off the rip but you can see the weasel tails gonna give you a nice reward again so you're gonna take the main story quest and now you're gonna get on your horse and you're gonna not your literal horse but you're gonna come over here to the central market um, just take note of that for now. You're going to want to come down here to the storage. You're going to do this twice. You're going to come to the storage twice, but I suggest you do it now. Come to the storage and currency exchange these two gold bars. That's going to give you $200,000, and that is going to give you enough to buy an ultimate steed weapon, which we're going to use for a while here. So go to the central market, and then you got to hope that the weapon that you want is actually up. We use a longsword on this character, and we want the ultimate steed longsword. None are up, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and just get the um, the steed longsword. It's not as good as the ultimate steed, but we can pick up a steed and then come back for an ultimate steed at a later time. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. Oh, I gotta deposit the money. Go ahead and deposit the money into the central market. Uh, you can deposit all of it or some of it. Uh, but just remember you will need all the money You'll need the money in the actual central market to buy anything. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up the steed uh, It'll carry us for a little while clearly not as good as the ultimate steed But you can see it's way better than anything we had options to use You're gonna want to throw on both of your binder earrings They're gonna give you accuracy which is a stat that you can't actually like you don't see it But it is a very useful stat 
it's a necessity on some classes and so definitely something to keep an eye on so now that we have that out of the way we will wait for an ultimate steed to get posted but we're going to want to come up here you can grab this after progressing the story but i'm going to grab it now from eileen she's going to want you to kill some parasitic bees and so we're going to grab that now we're going to go grab the main story quest before heading um back to eileen lots to do here in velia and so plenty of different things here so igor bartali is the main quest here so you're going to, want to turn that in and then you're going to, want to grab the velia storage it doesn't give you a whole great reward but um when you go back down to the storage at some point you're going to be able to turn the quest in don't have to necessarily do it now i will go do it now for the sake of the video but you're going to come up here and talk to tatros the uh, the skill guy and uh, he's going to have you defeat goblins to learn about them we're going to go ahead and grab that now we'll be heading to goblins in just a little bit and so you're going to want to grab that quest as well so now we're going to go down here on our way to go kill weasels and stuff uh, we're going to talk to Ernil complete the, the Velia storage quest and uh, get the quest just get that quest done and out of the way sorry if I'm sniffing my allergies are absolutely killing me today and so yeah just kind of something that's gonna happen today uh so eileen we're gonna turn this quest into her and then we're gonna grab emma's nightmare that's the next main story quest but if you come up here you should find the parasitic bees so we should be able to grab that you only need to kill one for eileen uh, and so then you'll just immediately take it back to Eileen and you'll grab the little bit of goodies She's gonna give you a gold bar worth another 100k, which is very nice And then you're gonna want to go and get the weasels out of the way now So you can see them popping up on my mini map in the top right you can see all the different weasels So we're gonna kill these things for a lustin and so we can get the nice rewards for him Come here weasel. There's two tails and there's three tails. So let's go ahead and run this down to a Lustin real quick and then I'll go ahead and fast forward again through some content until we get to the next kind of major thing. We're going to get to goblins next but you're just going to want to kill them uh, and follow the main story. There's not a whole lot there so I'll interject again once we get to uh, another main plot point. We'll turn this quest in and then we'll check for the ultimate steed again just to see if we could get lucky so he's going to give us another gold bar worth 100k once the server unfreezes come on there we go okay so there's another gold bar worth 100k so we have 375k ish banked if you buy the regular steed instead of the ultimate so we're going to go check one more time for the ultimate hope maybe one is up one is not up so what i'm going to do is pre-order one at max price 31k and so we're just going to have one of those pre-ordered and as soon as someone lists it, it will automatically buy it. Make sure to always be turning in the quest for the uh, Black Spirit. This is the quest for learning about the goblins. I've already played on the account before, so it's going to have this already complete. Later on, if you have not played on the game before, as soon as you defeat enough goblins, you will get this quest completed. And so... Uh, you'll turn it in at that point, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it in at this point. I did complete the Lost Helmet quest, but that's, you know, it's not that. It gives you a gold bar, but it's all the way back in, uh, it's for doing the, the tree spirits, which I'll go ahead and run back there on my own time and turn that in. So that's another 100k. You're going to want to get from the Lost Helmet quest, but you can see it's a fair way of a backtrack so i'll go ahead and do the backtrack on my own and then we'll continue the story i'll continue the fast forward once we get back to bartali farm <laughs>
right, so here we are to wrap up the video here. Ignore the face cam. Uh, for some reason, my audio didn't record, so I'm doing a voiceover now. So now you should be level 15 or 16, and you want to go through and select some skills. Now, obviously, you can do this over time if you would like, uh, just as you get the skill points by the skill that you want, or you could do what I do, and I wait to build up some skill points so I can go on a little bit of a spending spree and buy some new skills. Uh, either way, no big deal. You can do whatever the heck you want. Um, and for exactly what skills you should get, you can follow me if you're doing a warrior, but you can look up a guide or just, you know, take what's cool to you. You can reset your skills, um up to a certain level and i mean you can even reset it once you hit that level there's a daily quest um in order to get a reset potion and so you can reset your skills it's not a big deal uh what skills you select all the way up until 55 56 it doesn't really matter you can reset and redo your build so don't take too much stock into what you buy do some experimenting figure out what you like figure out what rotation you like and all of that different stuff don't hem yourself into something um, because you can always reset and change what skills you have. And, and really, if you grind enough, you can get pretty much any skill you want since you get all your skill points from uh, combat. So, plenty of opportunities for you to get more skill points to get that skill that you really want. So, we're going to go ahead and kill Gaius here. Um, nothing too special. Testing out some of the new skills that we acquired uh, just now. Um really like the I believe, I believe it's called like whirlwind slash and it slashes it does like a double slash at their knees really like that attack that was one that i picked up and so it's kind of an interesting i mess up here and i accidentally go into the like anywhere but here type thing where it puts you into this orb uh so i missed out on some free hits but no big no biggie no biggie we'll clean up Gaia here in no time so i wanted to ask you guys what you wanted to see going forward for this series if there is anything in particular you wanted to see is there anything uh in a particular that you don't want to see in it um i mean i could always cut out the sped up parts and just completely cut those out um i don't know I, I think it helps you kind of see where I go and, and what I do, but if you guys don't want to see that, I can always cut that out. No big deal. Uh, probably save me a little bit of time if I cut that out, but I uh, thought I'd keep it in for this one at least and get your guys' opinion on it. It uh, doesn't matter to me either way. Uh, now we're going to go over here and talk to Emma Bartali. She's going to tell us to go get a flower, which we're going to go do before we end this video here. But yeah, uh, the Noob's Guide I, came to my mind to replace the idea of the um, to replace the idea of the leveling guide. So right here, I'm showing that the Steed Longsword and the Aswell Longsword. The Steed is 18 to 22, and the and the Aswell is 14 to 18. So really, with the regular Steed, you're not getting a huge upgrade. But we obviously want the ultimate steed. That's what you're looking for. It's 28 to 32. Clearly a huge upgrade and the much better weapon. Uh, so we'll be picking up one of those hopefully fairly soon. But uh, we'll have to we'll have to see. Uh, but getting back to it, I decided to cut the leveling guide for this, obviously, because I thought this would uh, help people a little bit more. The leveling guide is pretty basic. There's a million guides up, and they pretty much work for. They translate from console to or from PC to console. Uh, so I decided to do a console noobs guide type thing. Uh, if you guys absolutely hate this, let me know. I, I'd just like to know one way or the other. And uh, I always like feedback, uh, positive or negative, uh, if you have anything you'd like to inform me on. Like I always say, don't claim to be an expert at this, but uh, I think I can make a noobs guide that should help some people out that are just starting the game. Trying to keep these videos to a minimum and uh all of that different stuff at the end of this series once i get this character 256 we will go ahead and have an episode or two going over various stuff like nodes and production uh afk fishing all of that different stuff uh, but i feel like that's best saved for after you get to level 56 because you should progress the story increase your inventory space do all the black spirit quests all of that different stuff so that's pretty much going to do it for this video guys not a whole lot just looking for some feedback from you guys that made it this far in the video. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and uh, make sure to drop it a big old like if you did. 
Subscribe if you have not. And I will catch you guys on Thursday with the next episode of this series. And I'll catch you guys then. Peace. Cause when it's all over.